Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this nice pixel effect. So I've got this animation here, which is going, and I've got this pixel effect added to it. And I'm going to show you how, which is really easy. And I have this composition here, which doesn't have the pixel effect. We have this animation. If you want to see how I animated this whole thing, by the way, you can see everything is already animated. I'm not going to show you that right now, because if you want to see that, you can subscribe to my Patreon page. There you get exclusive videos, and one of them will be uh, this video, how I animated this. So right now, I'm only going to show you how you can create the pixel effect. So subscribe to Patreon for the whole video. And I'm going to go select layer, new, and adjustment layer. And let's call this pixel effect. Drag it above the spaceship. I don't want my lives and my score here to be pixelated. I want them to be above because this um, this layer uh, affects everything that's below it because it's an adjustment layer. And we're going to add some effects to it, four to be precise. And first off, we're going to start with CC block load. There you go, stylize CC block load, add that. And um, uncheck the start cleared. And here we have our pixel effect already because it started at, it's at four right now. And if you change this number to, let's say, six, you get really big blocks. And to maybe to two, you get smaller pixels. Uh, four is the perfect size for me right now. I'm working in this 4K composition, and this uh, this scans you can you need to maybe drag this up or down to create the effect you want based on the composition size you're working in. So this is uh, already uh, looking great. So that's the first one. Then I'm going to click here and add a new one. It's called Grid. It's under Generate and then Grid. And then first we're going to go to Blending Mode and uh, put it at normal here and you can see we have this grid here on top and we're going to change the color to like this dark gray color like this I'm going to put the border to two because I want to have this one pixel um, wide so here you can if I put it at one you would say that's one but then it gets kind of blurry or transparent so put it at two it's still only one pixel wide and we're going to change the corner to 16 by 16 and that means that we're going to have every pixel here um, surrounded with this grid. Uh, you can change this to let's say 8 and 8 and you get more of these squares uh, but I want 16 and 16 and you just need to um, you can change this based on what your CC block load scans uh, number is. So in my case I have 4 here so that means 16 here. So now everything is like bordered up which looks cool so we have this kind of even more pixely effect. I'm going to change the opacity though for this. Uh, let's put it at like 40. Yeah, so not too, not too uh, noticeable. Uh, great, then we're going to add a new effect here and it's called this grain, green, uh, noise, sorry, noise effect. Put it at like nine, use color noise. So we get this kind of little grainy, noisy effect because it's, not, it's old school, it's old. Need to look a little bit worse. Um, doesn't need to look too perfect. And to make it look even less perfect, let's change the, let's add the posterized time effect because now my animation is at 25 frames per second and it's going real smooth. Let it load here out for a second. It's uh, going pretty smooth, but I want it to be a bit more choppy and a bit more old school. So I'm gonna go to help and again, and type in posterized time, posterized with a Z, stylized posterized time, or we have time posterized time. I'm gonna go to time posterized time and put it at 12. Boom. So this means that it's now uh, playing back at 12 frames a second. So it's kind of cutting my frames in half to get it, give it this more choppy, uh, old school retro look vibe thing. So if I play it back right now, you can see that it's going a little bit more choppy and not so smooth anymore. So that's how you can create a new really nice uh, pixel effect. I'm going to add one more thing. Go to layer new solid and make it black. Great, make it black solid. Go to your uh, rectangle tool or your ellipse tool. I'm going to click and drag over this here, kind of this shape. And in my mask options here, I'm going to click on inverted, or you can go to add and go to subtract, it doesn't really matter. Press F on the keyboard to open your feather options for the mask and then drag that out, like way really big. And then put the opacity of your whole layer at 40 maybe. So we can create this really nice, zoom out here, yeah, this quick uh, vignette effect kind of, which I think looks cool. Um, really nice and we can add one more thing here layer new adjustment layer and then i'm going to call this uh game boy game gaming boy game boy and i'm going to go to help and type in tint color correction tint and if you go to map white too and get get this 
ugly kind of greenish uh, Game Boy Color vibe thing you go in. Then you get this, uh, maybe put uh, this also at a, at a little bit of darker green, like that. Then you get this nice uh, little uh, Game Boy, uh, Game Boy old school Game Boy look. It's a, bit, it's a bit dark right now, maybe put this up, maybe make it a bit brighter. But uh, yeah, then you can create some nice uh, Game Boy effects here as well. I'm going to leave that out here now. So um, that's it for this tutorial. If you want to download the project files for this whole video, you can do that by subscribing on Patreon. Um, but if you want to see how I animated this whole video, uh, as I said earlier, you can subscribe to the Patreon as well. And there you can find the tutorial about how I animated this whole thing. It's an exclusive video for only for the Patreon subscribers. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. If you like this video, please give it a like or even consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next Camp Keyframe video. Thanks. Bye bye.